Howdy neighbors, it's Sako Tumi, also known as Cass Voy. I write horror and I'm a witch and I'm a graphic designer and sometimes I combine those three things. Today I'm doing a little recap about my first week with Camp NaNoWriMo. All right, so Let's see, it's been a couple of days, so I gotta like remember what's happened in the last like three or four days. I got my first copyright strike on my witchy account for reading Psychic Witch by Matt Oren. He would prefer that I did a review of the book rather than a actual reading because he feels like uh, reading his book on the air would deter people from buying the book, which I, <sighs> okay. As of like Monday or Tuesday, I'll be able to like do things on my channel again. For now, Till With Tag is on lockdown. Next would be, I got my shot. The side effects were no worse than my normal aches and pains and stuff. The tenderness mm -hmm. that, people were complaining about like I didn't feel like it hurt I could still do push-ups and stuff like that so I don't know maybe my threshold is just much higher my next appointment is on April 22nd at 10 45 in the morning so I'm super excited to be vaccinated before I go and hang out in Newport News That'll be fun. I did start Camp NaNoWriMo. I finally figured out what I'm doing with the scene that's I've been, the scene that I've been hung up on for the past like almost a year. I'm feeling good about not necessarily the word count aspect, but the um, milestone aspect. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that. I still haven't given myself time to actually work on it because I've been like eyeballs deep in a book. I finally found a book that I, that doesn't suck. There's a South African author by the name of Michelle Sachs that wrote, um, You Were Made For This. I would show you the book, but I left it upstairs. It's a domestic thing about a couple of Americans in Sweden and the lies that we tell ourselves, the lies that we tell other people. And Normally I wouldn't be into that sort of thing, but it's so well written and it literally is a page turner. Like there's no chapter numbers, so there's no like benchmarks. I, I am noticing like, oh, this is the inciting incident and this is the midpoint. And <clears throat> I do notice stuff like that, but it only from the storytelling, not so much from the chapter numbers and stuff like that, which is, which is great. Also, there's no quotation marks anywhere in the book. So it's kind of hazy as to what is internal dialogue and what is external dialogue. And I think that it's actually helping the story along. It's, it's a really good book. You Were Made For This by Michelle Sachs. I strongly recommend it. Um, I'm going to do like an actual review of it when I'm done with it. And I'm almost done with it. I might finish it today or tomorrow. I have decided that I am going to do the readings on a closed server on Discord for Psychic Witch. Because I'm still going to read the book. I just would like to do it privately instead of publicly. Today is technically Easter Sunday which I fondly call Zombie Day or Zombie Jesus Day. I don't celebrate, but my in-laws do, and they mostly celebrate with football and food. And so we are joining them for the food. So maybe I will read my book on the way there. I decided makeup and cute dress and things like that were necessary. It'll be fine. It'll be, it'll be fine. If you like this video at any point, please hit the like button. If you are interested in what the rest of camp is like for me, then please hit subscribe and maybe even ring that bell so that you know that, you know, I actually upload something because it's been like a dog's age since I've uploaded something, right? And I will catch you guys on the flip side.